Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm set. Break a leg. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sharp. For he absolves those who reject the folly and temptation of electricity. And other sinful lures of the enemy! Dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Is arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silenti has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here, and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Our children, I can get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. What was that just now? Who's over there? Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine.
right? A shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdued the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> You're alive! Occupation. <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Thank you nice. for the information, Katya. Katya and her but there is one and more Katya's question I need to ask. And Katya's medical come in handy. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're, you're done talking place. to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. 
Need to get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Yes, okay, Tom. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. Etihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for it. Here you go, Artyom. As I always said, you locked out with me. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total bad eye. Now I only use the mouth to tell me that's true. To the real medic, we become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs>
Братуха, that was crazy! Блин, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, блин. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right. That huge hangar. That's a terminal, blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now.
Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Now the palace, one, oh, here's a bed. So if you time, my home is your home. Before the assholes chase me away. Now, you could take the zip line down, just hook up and uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's good I can't find me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. <laughs> 